Yeah, that's exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, pillows, talk to us about pillows. Pillows are and fun. And how important are pillows? Pillows, maybe even before you get to bed, get the pillow <laughs> because it, we're right there. Um, great wool, eco wool, organic cotton, no off gas. They're comfortable, they breathe, and they're just a real inviting surface. When you get um, a natural pillow, it smells kind of like a meadow. There's no odor. It's kind of an unidentifiable smell, and it's pleasant. And it doesn't smell like raw wool with lanolin, thank goodness, because <laughs> that's pretty stinky. But um, it's, it's just refreshing because it's just there, and you, it's cloud-like. The feel is cloud-like, and the level of comfort is supreme. Great. Um, what kind of pillows do you recommend? Um, it's really a personal choice. Some people like a biofilm pillow. Um, because you can form them and shape them in natural rubber latex, you can do that as well. And again, they have a long life. They tend to be a little firmer. People who like, individuals who like um, a softer pillow, I really like the eco wool. We also have buckwheat pillows, uh, which you can form around your neck if you like a real firm neck support. And uh, K-POC. K-POC, uh, I don't know, have you heard of K-POC? Bridget? No, not at all. Well, you're not old enough. <laughs> and I barely am. I barely am. Great. <laughs> My grandfather <laughs> was in the service during World War I, and they had K-POC in their sleeping bags. It's uh, from a tree in the Amazon, and so it's a renewable resource. I don't know that it's organic, but they don't use chemicals to grow K-POC trees, so I would imagine it's pretty darn clean. It has a nice feel between cotton and silk. And um, they usually put an organic cotton co cover on it, the manufacturers do. Very nice. Well, so that's been being made since World War II? Since World War I. Since World War I. And it kind of went out of fashion when all the um, better living through science or whatever that uh, tagline right. was. And we saw a lot of polyfills, et cetera. Industrial, chemical industrialization. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. Well, and that's, so everything, that's great that everything, it's made a comeback. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Everything old is, is new again. I mean, it's just, you know. <laughs> Everything's old is new again. That's <laughs> great. We well, what pillows, do you, what pillows do you choose, I mean, in your house? We have the um, wool with the organic cotton. And I'm a diehard. I do like a down pillow because it's a squisher. You can form it any way you like. And uh, so I do have down pillows also. Right. It still would be considered environmentally friendly, exactly. just not vegan. Right. <laughs> if you were yeah. a vegan, you wouldn't have a down pillow. That's right. I guess I could eat the duck, huh? <laughs> yeah. Then you'd be really sustainable. <laughs> eat the duck, pluck the duck, put it in your pillow. Don't make me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, what beds uh, do you pr that provide the best sleep do you recommend? There isn't one bed fits all. I've worked in retail stores that have had 60 beds, and I think that's pretty absurd. Um, it's just confusing to the consumer. So, you know, if you have 20, 25 beds, we want people to try three or four beds. We can really narrow it down and find out what suits you as an individual. Uh, some people like an ultra plush bed. You can still get support from the latex or a good inner spring. And uh, that's kind of a cloud-like sleep. You don't really notice what you're lying down on. It just feels good. But a lot of people want more medium or firm support. And we probably do sell about 60% um, of the medium firm beds. People just seem to get more spinal support, but it's a really individual thing. Great. So on the, um, are there certain kinds of beds that people prefer for back pain or chronic injuries? That's a really good question um, because uh, these natural rubber latex biofilms do contour beautifully. You don't get a lot of pressure points from them. Uh, we do have some specialty bedding as well, and um, there's some science behind it that um, the bed uses latex and memory foam and then uses a uh, fiber from the medical industry that helps renew oxygen at a faster rate. Oh, that's like the Iron Bed. The Iron Man Bed. Yeah. From the Iron so Man what, exa what exactly is in the Iron Man bed that produces that? Do we know? Uh, it's proprietary, but um, it's a layer of fabric that, that is used um, to help people heal faster in medical situations. And uh, there's science behind the better um, reoxygenation. Uh, re Want to say it for me? Reoxygenate. 
No, no. Reoxygenation. <laughs> <laughs> every night. <laughs> Reoxygenates your system every it, night. Exactly. <laughs> Up to about 24% more than traditional beds. And this particular fiber they wrap the mattress in is uh, what does it. You know, it's interesting because, you know, when you pick up products and um, you have a product that has a better, I mean, energy, if you if you will. Mm -hmm. But this has a great feel. Like, you feel it. It feels cool. It feels it feels good. It's kind of inviting, isn't it? It is. It's super yeah. inviting. It's a very inviting um, fabric or latex or bio. Biofoam. Biofoam. <laughs> yeah, it's great stuff. The color might be drawing you, too, because, you know, that green is very pleasant. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It's like a meadow or a oh, forest. Nice. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I've heard recently at your store, I was there, mm -hmm. and a guy had complained um, about being seasick, that beds made him seasick. Oh, so uh -huh. I was going to ask you about what your theory about that is mm -hmm. and if it has to do with the chemicalized beds versus the organic. It actually it does seem to be a, a motion sickness, and what causes it, uh, the only time I've seen, um, and it's been a very small percentage of people who say they they uh, feel vertigo or that type of thing, uh, is on memory foam. Memory foam, since it's temperature sensitive, when you lie down on the bed, it actually liquefies with body heat. It's not like you can pour it into a cup, but that's what it does chemically. And so you kind of sink into it and then stop. And some people have got a real feel of vertigo when that happens. I've probably seen that four or five times in eight, ten years that I've been selling memory foam beds. And that's, I think, probably the seasickness de description that you're describing. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. really thought it was really unusual. So yeah, I wanted well, to ask you about 